right, let's get a fire started. There's the bark. He always kneels, and Bob's got okay. Hey, Tommy, you gonna join us? Yeah. Great. Mama, are you joining us? Yay! Oh, I'm so glad to see you and Jacob. Wait, wait, oh. wait. Hey, don't fall out, don't fall out. Oh. You have a plate of food? <laughs> you guys having fun eating dinner by the campfire? Yeah. yeah. And do you know what's happening in a couple days? Halloween. Halloween, right? Yep. Do you guys oh. want to tell some scary stories tonight? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's tell some scary campfire stories. I'm balancing. Let me tell you a true story, a scary story about an Alaskan killer grizzly bear. Before we start, I need to tell you guys a little bit about Kodiak Island. Now Kodiak Island is a little bit south of Anchorage. It's a big island full of deer and salmon and killer grizzly bears. These bears get over 11 feet tall. You know Kodiak grizzly bears are so fast they can outrun deer and they like to attack hunters. When they hear a gun go off they know that someone shot a deer so they run over and attack the hunter and take his deer. Many hunters have been killed by grizzly bears and when they shot them, their bullets did nothing. But I know somebody tougher than a Kodiak grizzly bear. His name was Gene Moe. And one day, Gene went deer hunting on Kodiak Island. Gene took a boat from Kodiak City to a remote part of the island, landed his boat, and then hiked many miles looking for deer. He found a deer, shot it, and he was gutting it. Well, Gene took his gun and leaned it against a tree while he was gutting the deer with his hunting knife. And little did he know, a Kodiak grizzly bear had heard his gunshot and had come to attack him and take his deer. The bear snuck up, quiet and stealthy behind Gene, and then it jumped on him. And all he had to defend himself was his knife. The bear immediately started clawing his face and his head and his back. And Gene started stabbing the bear as hard as he could with his hunting knife. And Kodiak grizzly bear grabbed Gene in his mouth and started shaking him back and forth like a dog would shake a toy. And Gene stabbed the bear as it was trying to kill him. The bear chewed up his arms and it chewed up his legs. And the whole time as it was eating his arms and legs, Gene kept stabbing the bear with his knife. He Ouch. fought the bear and fought the bear and wouldn't die. No matter how many times the bear bit him, no matter how many pieces the bear tore off him, he wouldn't die. The bear bit off his bicep on his right arm, bit off a chunk of his thigh on his right leg, and turned his back into applesauce. He was a bloody, horrible mess. But do you know what Gene did? He stabbed a Kodiak grizzly bear to death. And after the bear collapsed from blood loss, Gene took up all of his pieces, walked over, got his gun, and shot that bear. Now anybody can stab a bear to death while it's eating your arms and legs. That's just standard operating procedure in Alaska. But what made Gene the toughest guy ever is that after he killed the bear, he skinned it and he took that hide, put it on his flayed bloody back, and then he hiked the miles back to the shore to get on the boat and then go back to Kodiak City, then go and fly to Anchorage to then go to the hospital. Now Gene was not a man who brags a lot. And do you know how I found out about him stabbing the bear to death? What? Well, Gene sent the bear hide to his taxidermist to get it turned into a rug. And when the taxidermist saw the bear hide, it had 40 stab holes all in the hide. So the taxidermist got on the phone and called Gene and said, what did you do to this hide? It's torn to pieces. And you know what Gene said? What? 
it's hard to skin them when they're moving. Well, Gene's taxidermist told the local newspapers. So next time I saw Gene at the construction site, I said, Gene, I heard you stabbed a bear to death while I was eating you. And then he dropped his pants and showed me all of his bite mark. And he showed me where the doctors had sewn the meat back onto his arm and sewn the meat back onto his leg. And that was Gene Moe, the man so tough, he stabbed a bear to death while I was eating him. And do you know what? Right now, I hear that there's a bear in our neighborhood. And at any moment, it could come and grab one of you and start eating you too. Knife, please. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, we hope you enjoyed this scary little campfire story with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. We hope you have a great Halloween. And don't forget to... Click subscribe. Roar. <laughs> we put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.